place before you The lifting of my hands A sacrifice Oh Lord Jesus Turn your eyes upon me For I know There is mercy in your sight Your statutes are my heritage Forever my heart is set on keeping your decrees Please still my anxious urge toward rebellion Let love keep my will upon its knees Oh God, you are my Praise you, my I Lord. I will seek you in the morning, and I will learn to walk in your ways. And step by step, you lead me, and I will follow you all of my days. O oh Lord, you're my God. You created me, you formed me, you knit me together in the womb of my mother. You knew me, you called me by name. Before the foundations of the world were set, you appointed me as dear to you. Thank you, O oh God, for your great love, so personal, so dear. O oh God, you are my God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Praise you, Jesus. Praise, Praise you, Jesus. Jesus. You have Hallelujah. come to me, O oh God, today. Jesus. You have come to me to reveal your love to me. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Your infinite love. We exalt your great, your great presence. We rejoice in. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You're my God. You're my joy. Oh God, your presence. Your presence is my joy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you. We love you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We want to worship you together with all the angels and saints. 
this is heaven o oh god we have come out of the world into your presence out in the world we were disturbed out in the world we were tempted out in the world we were upset we were angry from all such negativities you have called us in the your presence to know you to look at your face to rejoice in your presence to love you to experience your love here in your presence of oh god we we enjoy heavenly bliss together with mother mary together with the saints and angels praise you jesus thank you lord we worship you, you. we adore you oh god you, thank you lord jesus, jesus, jesus for this moment jesus. of grace this moment of rejoicing in your presence oh god hallelujah 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 thank you we worship you we adore you oh god we worship you we adore you light of the world you stand down into darkness open my eyes let me see be Oh my god you're all together love. all together all together one. worship all together wonderful to so wonderful to be here so wonderful to be here king of all days oh so highly exalted glorious in We bow down Here before you. To say we surrender. You're my God. You're my God. You're all together lovely. We all love you. All together worthy. Praise. All together wonderful. Our plans. We surrender. We lay at your feet. Your plans we take into our hearts. All together. We worship you. We adore we thank you oh god hallelujah 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 praise you jesus we bow down before you we worship you oh god hallelujah hallelujah praise you jesus thank you lord hallelujah 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 praise you jesus thank you lord hallelujah hallelujah praise you jesus thank you lord hallelujah hallelujah praise you glory in this glorious moment when we are in the presence of our god this wonderful moment of grace when our god has come down to us when the lord is looking at us this time of favor god's favor the sacred hour of divine mercy let us begin this chaplet of divine mercy you expire jesus but the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world o fount of life unfathomable divine mercy envelop the whole world and empty yourself upon us o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus as a fount of mercy for us i trust in you 
O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst all women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator, creator of, of heaven, heaven and, and earth, earth. And I in Jesus, in Jesus Christ, Christ, his only Son, our Lord, Lord. who he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin, Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the, in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, as we pray decade after decade, we want to contemplate the one event of Jesus revealing himself, the risen Lord, manifesting himself to the apostles by the shore of the Sea of Galilee. And as we contemplate this event, we will experience the radiance of the risen Lord shining upon us into our sinfulness, into our unworthiness, into our problems and troubles, we will invite the Lord, the Lord coming and saving us. Let me read for you the first part of this appearance to the seven disciples from the Gospel of John chapter 21 verses 1 onwards. After this, Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Titimus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, seventy sons and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, we also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. A very pitiable sight. The disciples tired. Tired of waiting for the Lord. In fact, they had known that Jesus had risen from the dead dead and yet they could not wait for him they were asked by the Lord to wait and pray they failed they went to their old profession of fishing the seven disciples went out fishing early morning and they cast their net 
again and again. Simon Peter was an expert fisherman. And so were the other disciples. But they were defeated. And early morning, at dawn, Jesus approached and asked, Have you caught anything? With all the tiredness and fatigue, they said, We caught nothing. In this first decade, we want to ask for God's mercy for everyone tired, everyone living in fatigue. We find such people in the Bible, people in fatigue. We find the prodigal son coming back totally exhausted, exhausted having gone away from the father. In the pigsty, away from the father, having lost everything in sin and the guilt tormenting him, exhausted, he comes back from the pigsty. We want to pray for all those of brothers and sisters. Perhaps in your own family, people who are fatigued after a sinful life. People who are drinking. People who are in drug addiction. People who are running after the powers of evil, making money and defeated again and again in sinful pursuits, in greed. And you know them. There are many more thousands who are fatigued in their sinful pursuits. And people get tired not only in sinful pursuits, people with a handicap, people who are sick. We find such a person in John chapter 5 at Bethesda. For 38 years, he was lying down there. Jesus goes to him and asks him, do you want to be healed? Really, a very meaningless question. It might look to be, but not a meaningless question. This man did not want to be healed because he knew he could not be healed because he was defeated again and again. He said, Master, how can I be healed? When the water bubbles up and there is a hope of getting healed, I begin to crawl. A paralyzed man, how else could he approach the bubbling water? When I begin to crawl, someone else, someone else overtakes me and I crawl back. Now I'm desperate. People desperate because of sickness. Elijah in the book of Kings was desperate because the king and the queen, the authorities of the time were trying to kill him because he made a great decision to worship the Lord, Yahweh. And he overturned and burned the altars of the false gods. And the king and the 
Queen Jezebel, Ahab and Jezebel were haunting and Elijah ran for his life and Elijah was in the cave hiding. There are many lonely, defeated and given up on life. Let us think of every one of them. People having no hope in life. They tried their best but they know they cannot achieve anything good in life. They have given up on life. And we want to ask for God's mercy. For every one of them we know and all we do not know and pray this decade of divine mercy for them. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for Sorrowful passion, mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world Lord you are never far away from any of us you come in search of us we offer to you all our brothers and sisters who are defeated in life, who do not find anything to hope for, you are their hope. Jeremiah chapter 30 verses 10 and 11 are given to you as a message. You shall find rest shall be tranquil and undisturbed 
for i am with you hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus. praise you jesus praise you jesus. hallelujah 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 every one of us in the moments of our distress in the moments of our defeat when we turn to the lord we will find him we will find the lord coming our way manifesting his presence to us let me continue to read verses 6 on words so jesus said to them cast the net over the right side of the boat and you will find something so they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish so the disciple whom jesus loved said to peter it is the lord it is the lord the lord revealing himself the lord speaking the lord speaking giving a very clear direction what to do to the disciples who were fatigued who were defeated in their attempt and that's what the lord does he will never leave us alone when elijah was languishing in lonely pain god went to him and god asked him elijah what are you doing elijah heard the voice of god elijah felt the touch of the lord the touch in a sweet simple in a beautiful light voice a breeze that went touching soothing him the heart of elijah was hard in the pain of loneliness that so thing touch of god and the voice of god that spoke to him elijah what are you doing elijah said to god oh god i am as good as dead all your prophets are put to death only i am left and god assured him of his presence and god gave him a clear direction where to go and the prodigal son though he went out went away from the father in arrogance when he comes back it was in the arms of the father that he reached the arms of the father around him he wanted to be just a servant just a servant but he became a son in the warmth of the arms of the father and this man paralyzed man jesus said to him get up and walk he saw the hand of the lord reaching out to raise him up every one of us we will find the hand of the lord reaching out to raise us up oh lord that's what we are pray praying for everyone stuck in life everyone defeated everyone addicted to the powers of evil everyone tired of loneliness let them be able to feel your power 
Let them be able to feel the soothing touch of your loving presence. Your hand reaching out to them to raise them up to a new life for God. And so, let us pray the second decade. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world. However disturbed you are, whatever is bothering you, the Lord is entering into your life. The Lord is turning everything to your good. This message the Lord is giving you. Mark chapter 5 verse 34 your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Let's continue our contemplation. Verse 9. When they climbed out on the shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many the net was not torn. A miraculous catch of fish. That is what happens when the Lord enters into our life. Emptiness turns to fullness. 
sorrow gives way to joy. And all that is needed is for us to open the doors of our heart to him. And the Lord is waiting to enter. Miraculous catch of fish. And therefore, why is it we remain empty? Why is it we languish in our loneliness? Only because we do not allow Jesus to come in. Jesus said, I stand knocking at the door of your heart. If, if you open the door to me, I will come in and I will dine with you. Revelation 3.20 God waiting to enter in our stubbornness, in our despair, in our arrogance. We prefer to remain in our hatred. When someone hurts us, it could be my wife, my husband, my friend, my children, my father, my brother. When someone hurts me, I arrogantly cling on to that hurt. Lord, you promised me if I let go of that hurt, if I obey you, obey your word, if I go and get reconciled in humility and love, your grace will flow in and there will be a fullness. A miraculous catch of fish, a fullness of loving experience, loving encounter, love will flourish. Lord, when am I? When am I going to learn this lesson? When my heart is empty, Lord, when I feel dried up, when I turn to you, and if I, if I say a prayer, if I look at your face and pray, you will be there to talk to me. You will be there. Your presence waiting to soothe me as a tender breeze. But I will not, I will not open my heart in prayer stubbornly. I will hold on to remain in emptiness and dryness. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm praying that I may learn how to open your heart. I will open your heart when I open my heart to you and your grace will flow into me. With that prayer, we will pray this third decade. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in a Mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. And on the whole world For the sake 
of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world let us surrender all our failures in life, all our defeats that we have met with. Let us surrender all our dryness and loneliness. Let us surrender everything that's gone wrong with our life and realize this. God is waiting to enter into everything wrong in our life and turn everything to our good filling us with joy peace and love let us make a total surrender of our life to him this is my desire to My way ended up in failure. My attempts and calculations ended up in frustration. Have your way. Let your steps come into my life. I will turn my steps to you and live. Live for you. Lord, it is you who prepare a banquet for me. Let me continue reading, contemplating this event. Verses 12 on words. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of them dared to ask him, who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them. 
and you like man of the fish a banquet a eucharistic banquet jesus prepared for them jesus had already prepared the fish and the bread and together with the fish that they had caught a sumptuous breakfast a banquet for them when we turn to him that's what the lord does a banquet of love what the psalmist tells us the lord is my shepherd nothing indeed shall i fear nothing indeed shall i want the lord will prepare a banquet for me in the presence of my enemies i will not be afraid even those who frighten me who could be against me my lord when you are there for me who can be against me lord we pray for all those who are frightened we pray for them and we pray this fourth decade of divine mercy it's an old father for sex look to the lord that your faces may become radiant with joy let us sing together and rejoice in the presence of our god the presence of our god which is always filling us with radiant joy our faces may become radiant with joy whatever sorrow there is god's presence will dispel and our hearts will rejoice I 
my life, your light should shine and you must reign in me. You must reign in me. And therefore, I want to tell you what Simon Peter said, I love you more than everything else. Let us continue our contemplation, verses 15 onwards. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. Three times, three times, Jesus asked Simon Peter, Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? A great desire of Jesus to reign in the heart of Simon Peter. My brother, my sister, however dark your heart is, your life is, the Lord is waiting to reign in your heart. Open your heart. Open your life. Open your family. Let the Lord come and reign in your heart, in your family, and establish peace love and joy in our lives. Let's pray this last decade. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity. Have mercy on us 
and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy Yeah. Mm-hmm.